You'll also need to disassemble the hydraulic barrel to access the inner parts. Place the barrel in a vise and use a large wrench or pliers to loosen the barrel. Unscrew it entirely to reveal the inner parts. This is the inlet check valve. There is a spring, a disc, one o-ring and two backups. The o-ring and two backups will be included in the hydraulic seal replacement kit. Inspect the inner diameter of the disc for scoring or rust and replace if necessary. Once you've replaced the o-ring and backups with new parts, you can reassemble the section by replacing the spring and disc. Then apply lubrication to the threads and screw the end cap back onto the hydraulic body. Once the end cap is screwed down, tap on the disc a few times to make sure it moves freely. Now you can reinstall the hydraulic body onto the piston shaft and replace the four bolts. Tighten to the torque specification shown in your drawing. Next, replace the pilot stem into the port, followed by the spring. Now replace the external cycling section onto the pump, making sure the newly installed O-rings are seated properly and do not fall out. Tighten down the bolts to torque specifications. Now insert the other pilot stem into its port, followed by the spring. Insert the flow tube and pilot tube into the cycling valve section. Now add the end cap, making sure the O-rings remain properly seated and the pilot tube and flow tubes align correctly. Tighten down the bolts and replace the cycling valve tie rod. Next replace the air pilot tube. And finally screw on the mufflers. This concludes this lesson.